This is the second year a team from BBC R&D have come to the Edinburgh Festival to research all sorts of things to do with how we can take an event like this and how we can improve how people at home who can't physically make it to Edinburgh or to any other festival can experience that. We're really focusing on the idea of being able to get video footage from all sorts of performances, all sorts of venues at the Edinburgh Festival that perhaps it would be, have been impossible, certainly impractical in the past, to be able to go in and film in, in a sort of traditional BBC way. Nearly Live Production is a new video production workflow. We've brought two nearly live production rigs, the hardware and the software, to Edinburgh. We put one in the BBC Blue Tent, and that's four ultra-high definition cameras with no camera operators. Presented them each with nice wide shots from four different angles, and we have a, a prototype nearly live production tool which allows a single craftsperson, a director effectively, to take those four wide shots and create a whole multitude of shots within shots, kind of virtual cameras. And because the original cameras are such high resolution, we can still get high definition video pictures from even popping down to a quarter of the original resolution. So our four cameras might become a total of 12 or more shots, which are then presented within a, a very simple web browser based tool and the director can move between them. Perhaps pausing the action, reframing shots, going back and altering the timing or the sequence or the particular framing of all the individual shots on the timeline and we do multi-camera coverage without the need for a camera crew. The second nearly live production rig we've brought to Edinburgh, the mobile rig, we specifically created it to make it as small and portable and quick to rig as possible so that we can take it to different venues, connect it up really quickly and be producing video within 30 or 60 minutes of turning up. So we're using three Ethernet based cameras which only need to a single cable connecting to each one, going back to a production crate and three consumer computers capture the video and present it to the internet. So we've gone into four different sized, different shaped venues with our mobile nearly live rig and tried to understand how quickly that can be rigged and the, the challenges of not having seen the space or perhaps only had a short recce in the space. And the, you know, the show will start on time and we, it's our challenge to get the cables in, get the cameras in, get the production software running. With nearly live we, we kind of exploit a key part of internet protocol or IP networks in that they, they can have a certain amount of latency and, and that's often seen as a problem and something that you have to engineer around in order to create genuinely live video coverage. We think with Nearly Live we've managed to sort of turn that around and turn what, what can be an issue in certain cases into a benefit. When we develop prototype tools in R&D it's really important that after we've experimented with them and before we kind of go away and, and make the next version that we get uh, real production people whether that's inside the BBC or outside the BBC to use them. If a production tool or a production process is going to have any traction and provide any value back it has to escape being a, being a research prototype and not all of them do but we think the idea of nearly live production has a lot of potential.